it was a pleasure. Um, it was necessary, I think. It's one thing playing rock, rock and roll, everybody gets a kick out of it. That song is, of course, technically a classic rock song, but stripping it down meant that I could get to the bare bones of what I'm more used to. And I've been playing in bands in the past. There's always been strong ballads, and that's what that song was really about. It was to try and strip it down, capture the emotion, and, and move on that way, not just hammering up rock songs. Saying that, I did play a rock song after that. So, um, I think that's, that's tremendous praise. Uh, I'm very flattered that Adam would say that. Uh, obviously, he's got some very talented singers on his team, so it's very kind of him to say that. Um, and I think, frankly, experience. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've been, I've had a record deal before. I've, I've, I've toured a lot, and you know, I've, I've a lot of experience of, of doing this. So I think when the pressure's on, I know maybe how to handle it, maybe a little bit better than some of the younger ones. But saying that, they've done really well. Tonight, tonight is my favourite moment. Um, it was maybe amazed up until now, but I've got to say tonight uh, definitely because getting to do two songs, it meant there wasn't as much pressure to bring everything on each song. You got to show polar opposites, and that for me was the most fun. It meant you could take it, take it down to a very emotional place with the first one, and then explode with a great rock song at the end. That was so much fun. I got to jump off a drum riser tonight. No, they, they, they could only stay for two nights. My, my son's got to go back to school. Um, but we, uh, we just, you know, we did what all families do when you're in a hotel, which is, you know, play football in the corridor, order takeout, uh, and generally make nuisances of ourselves. Um, but no, we had, a, we had a great time. Uh, they loved being here. And you can probably tell from my reaction on the show that it was quite a genuine surprise. Um, I might be the first person on the show to get away with uh, a swear word. So, yeah. Well, um, you know, me and Rudy, Rudy Paris, we're very good friends. Very, very. We are very good friends. And he still keeps in touch with me. And uh, I always got a kick out of uh, Rudy's a very funny guy. And I would have him back. He's a great singer, great personality. I'd probably want to do a duet with him. He's, and he was teaching me guitar as well. So maybe I can learn a thing or two while he's here. I do. Thank you very much for keeping me here. Hopefully, hopefully you keep me for one more week. If not, thank you very much. <laughs>